Today we'll be reacting to Area Vibes reviews of Port Charlotte, Florida. Let's get started. Housing A+. Plus. Oh my god. Oh, wow. So, the overall is 64. Probably one of the lower that we've done, I think. And as not we always... Not much, though. Yeah, not by a lot. But as we always say, take Area Vibes with a grain of salt. That's why we're doing these videos. They kind of give you a little more context because they miss a lot of stuff that's like in the cities and they don't count it for some reason. Yes. And population is 64,000. Definitely one of the bigger ones. Let's dive in. Amenities. Yeah. And that's where I thought they would have done pretty good. Yes, definitely. Especially because it seems like they're counting the whole Port Charlotte area as everything. one. Yeah, just about everything. Yeah, like Lake Susie feels like a separate yeah. area. They're making that separate. Wow. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Port Charlotte has a lot of shopping. They have a mall, which there is not a lot of stores open anymore, yeah. but there's quite a few. It's yet. like three quarters full yeah. yet. I mean, it's not quite a dead mall, you know what I mean? There's some like Sarasota Square Mall. There's like three things in there and a movie theater and a Costco, you know? Yeah, and Port Charlotte also has a movie theater with in that mall as well. There's a lot of shopping, a lot of department stores throughout the area. And pretty much the entire food court area, like every one of those spots has something in them, so those aren't empty at all. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of shopping just in that mall alone. And then yes. as a whole, I would say Port Charlotte does pretty well for having quite a bit of shopping on their main drag. So it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> We've never had coffee there, but I can guarantee you there is at, at least, least one or two. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so it's not even giving anyone to click it. So that's just weird. It's, yeah, there's, I wonder how old it's There's got to be a couple Starbucks, I'm sure, that I've seen. And Dunkin' Donuts. We got. Likely. Where was that one place we went to that one time? It got like, it was like ice cream or yogurt or something. And I want to say they served coffee and there was like a little like kind of like really small building. Yeah. And you know, the Crepe Chef actually, they have coffee too. And yeah. they're technically in Port Charlotte. Probably one of our favorite restaurants ever, period. Yes. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Area Vibes does not include everything. Regal Cinemas, which is the theater. Yeah, yeah. That's in the mall. Kids Star Park. Oh, there is like a little playground too inside the mall for kids. Yeah. Like, not a playground, I guess, but like... It's kind of a playground, yeah. Like it's indoor. Or a play area. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. And yeah, I... Yeah, I just... I can't understand area life sometimes. I just don't get it. Like, oh, like, I, that's the one thing I would give Port Charlotte like does pretty well is the stores and yeah. Yeah, it's the food. entertainment. Food and drink. Wendy's. Which, okay, so 23... Of course, it's Area Vibes. They don't really like to count most mom and pop places. They pretty much tend to include more of the chains, mm -hmm. which Port Charlotte has a ton of. Like, if you want chains, tons of them in Port Charlotte. There is definitely some mom and pop stuff, too. Don't get us wrong. But to give it a nap and then you're listing 23 restaurants or fast food restaurants, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. And I mean, there's for sure off the top of my head, a few that aren't included. Like, an important one would be IHOP. Like me some IHOP, that's not here, and they have one. We don't anymore in Venice. Yeah, we you know, used to, and that's the reason we moved here, and then they shut it down. That was the only reason we moved here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Checkers, Panera Bread. I mean, they got Lowe's. a lot. And I'm sure there's, you know, I can't say this for sure off the top of my head, but I'd probably like a Chili's and a Applebee's and stuff like that. So take your area of eyes with a grain of salt. We've probably said that at least three times yeah. in every one every of these Every single video. Anytime fitness. fitness is the only one. I'm sure there is more than one. Guarantee. Port Charlotte, it's a big area. It, yeah. Yeah. We, as you can tell, so we know Port Charlotte pretty well, but we don't go out there to like do stuff as much as like Venice. and. We go to the Lumber. movie theater sometimes. Yeah. So we don't know a lot of the stuff like for sure this is there and this is there, but... We have a very good sense for okay they have a lot of this and you know a lot of chains and mm -hmm. things like that and you'll see like we're just not thinking right now but you'll see a lot of those restaurants and shopping right off of 41 like that's pretty much where everything is in port charlotte whether that's restaurants you know like chain type restaurants or mom and pops or shopping or department stores furniture stores like Right off of 41, you'll see like pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of furniture stores too. You know, you say that, yep, that, that I'm thinking of. I can't remember the names, but I can picture them. So there, there's a lot there. And groceries, seven, but they're giving that an F. If they don't list the Publix, okay, I was gonna say. BJ's, there's a Sam's Club, but BJ's is basically like a, your Sam's Club slash Costco. Yeah, and we've went to the Sam's Club out there, you know, 
because it's about equal distance to the other closest one for us, which is all the way up in Sarasota. So to have that there, mm -hmm. it's pretty nice if you like to do more of the bulk discount type stores. They have a Walmart. I, I love Walmart neighborhood market. A lot of times it's like, I just feel like they're a little less hectic than the full Walmart. You just want your groceries and to get out. Well, it's good. And it just kind of alleviates some of the pressure of all the people going to just Walmart because they have options. Oh, there is a Target too. And there's a Starbucks inside that Target in Port Charlotte. Dennis restaurant as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just so much that they didn't include. Yeah. Obviously the Publix are gonna, you know, every city's got at least five Publix, even if there's like 10,000 people in it. Yeah. So that's just what Florida does. But yeah, Winn-Dixie, Aldi, I feel like they're really good. And, and uh, actually they're not uh, listing the, the Sam's Club, are they? Mm -mm, I don't see it. So yeah, again, Area Vibes isn't always the most accurate on some of this. And then parks. So this is crazy. So first of all, we feel like they generally get those a little bit more accurate. I think they gave Venice an A, I want to say, yeah. which- But Venice has a lot of parks. Yes. So I will have to just take the word for it because we haven't really checked out a lot of the parks in Port Charlotte, but it looks like there's a, I mean, if you look at the map, there's like all over. There's a yes. lot of them listed. They have 37 apparently, and they're giving it a C minus. That just seems a little- That's not fair, yeah. yeah a little mean. Yeah. And, and I don't know, like, yeah, like biased or slanted. I don't know, it's just weird. Uh, leave a comment if you're familiar with Port Charlotte and you do go to the parks if uh, there's a lot of them, if they're nice. I mean, based on the map though, it looks like there's a lot. We yes. haven't, like we said, we haven't really went to check a lot of them out, but. They do have Centennial Park, which is a really nice park. It's actually in Port Charlotte and they're building a master plant community oh, around it. Yeah, that Westport area. Yeah, yeah, and you can actually walk you know from community to community and within the park so it's pretty cool and actually that is a really nice really big park with they a have lot like soccer, soccer court, baseball, baseball there's basketball a, indoor i think there's a gym yeah that they're building there with that yeah basketball and a whole bunch more inside there and they have the spring training facility too which i don't know if you would consider that a park but yeah entertainment but entertainment yeah which i don't think that was listed either yeah for the tampa rays, rays yeah. so that's also there shops Wow, what Get a lots first. of gas stations. I'm sure there'll be a 7 Eleven on here. TNT. Lowe's, Petco, T Mobile. But right. I mean, those are shops. But again, that's the thing with Area Vibes. Like, they're just pretty much including almost all of it's going to be chains. Yeah. And then occasionally, somehow, some of these mom and pop shops must be doing enough to get in the good graces of Area Vibes and make it on the list. But if it's not a major chain, they don't include it. Yes. So doesn't always represent what's there but yeah i mean there's quite a bit as you can see harbor freight tools lows you know petco and there's a lot more than that for sure just yeah it's not list just drive down to Miami sometime and yeah. you'll see it's probably more than the 33 like even on like the map here you can time. even on the map here you can see like r that's 41 right there yeah all of that and, and what they are actually showing on the map is probably a, a third to a quarter of what's there yes. you know there's more than 33 places i can guarantee you that mm -hmm. so commute like all of florida whoop sorry cheated give you a sneak peek of the cost of living uh public transit is an f like pretty much all of florida Unless you're in a bigger city. There's a little bit more public transportation. I think Sarasota, of all the cities we've done on the channel so far, is the one exception because mm -hmm. there's a little bit more public transportation. But yeah, Port Charlotte, I would say, as far as actual commute for driving, it's a little busy, a little hectic, but it's not atrocious. Yeah. It, it just depends. You know, obviously, winter months are busier, like a lot of the Gulf Coast and spring break, of course. But outside of that, like summers are, are pretty easy breezy in most of the areas to drive around. And and I mean, 41 connects all the way from Tampa to Miami. So that whole 41 slash Miami Trail, it's going to be pretty busy because of, you know, people driving through. But even then, it's not it's not crazy. Like it's not like a seven on the 75 level. And I think one really good thing to point out, too, with commute is so Port Charlotte's kind of nice in one way i guess in that it puts you about equidistance wise 
not necessarily commute time wise from Fort Myers and Sarasota. If you look right here's Sarasota, there's Port Charlotte, there's Fort Myers. So it's kind of nice to have options for if you want, you know, a little bit of a bigger city for more job opportunities and, you know, maybe more office type work and things like that. Cause a lot of what Port Charlotte's going to have is more service industry type work. Yes. So, and even like Punta Gorda too, even though it is a smaller town, there is a lot of tourism and, and retirees. So there is going to be a lot more service related jobs in Punta Gorda and it's not that far of a drive either. And I think one thing worth noting too, so you know, the idea of port shots use based on what we said so far isn't the greatest for maybe you you don't like chains, you want more mom and pop. Just a short drive over the bridge to Punta Gorda, that's pretty much all you're getting is mom and pop. It's awesome. It's a really quaint downtown. Kind of reminds me of Venice's in a way, a, a little different feel. A little smaller, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice too and very walkable. Yeah. So And you have the harbor too. Yeah. It's definitely cool. It stands out as one of my favorite downtowns in all of Florida, you know, probably would make my top 20 list, which we've been to a lot of downtowns. Yes. I mean, we, we've probably been to about 50 or 60. So the top 20 is pretty good. It's probably more than top 20, but I just don't want to say anything and get too crazy without thinking about it. So A plus. A plus for that cost of living. And that's, you know, for a lot of people, one of the big reasons Port Charlotte is, you know, in consideration because you can get a lot more house for your money and yard and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like Northport that way. Yes, Northport and Port Charlotte are very, very similar, but Northport is in Sarasota County, so a little higher tax there. For Charlotte, it's in Charlotte County, so a little lower tax, not by much, but it, you know, makes a difference, I guess, when you're in a on a budget. Yeah, and house prices are generally, we'll get to that in a second, but yes. it's going to be a little bit less, you'd say? I would Northport. say a lot less. A lot less? Yeah. By the way, we do have a real estate team, so if you want to buy or sell a home in the Port Charlotte or Northport or any area we would cover on the channel, Make sure to call, text, or email our team, 941-221-1897. On with the show. <laughs> Cost of living, A+, plus. so the, the goods and services, C+, plus. that's pretty standard for pretty much all the cities we've done. I think that's a little better, though. I think yeah. we've been getting Cs more for, like, Venice and Venice mm -hmm. Gardens and all of those areas. And it would make sense with Port Charlotte being a C+. Plus. I think I would give it a little higher rating, too, but, I mean, it's going to be pretty similar. Yeah. Um, this whole area, Southwest Florida, is going to be pretty similar. Yeah. And yeah, these smaller ish cities, I feel like, are probably on, like, with, you know, the national averages, which is mm -hmm. probably, you know, the C is like a national average type cost. Uh, tax rate, we've said this in every video, so we won't beat a dead horse, but yeah, it's an A because basically no state income tax. Crime, C minus. 2,161 property crimes per 100,000 people. So that's it's a, a little plus. higher, but not much. Yeah. Well, maybe like double Venice. Cause what did Venice have? Like a C? Yeah, it was like an A. Yeah, so it is. Minus B plus maybe. I think it depended on the part of Venice. I think South Venice was like a B plus or a B and Venice, actual Venice was like an A. Violent crime, C minus, 357 crimes per 100,000 people. So. And it, I mean, it makes sense too with Port Charlotte being, it's not a big city by any means, but it feels like it, it is bigger yeah. than say Northport or Venice for that matter. And there's also a lot more shopping, a lot more to do depending on what kinds of things you like, because if you like the beach, then yeah, there is no beach there. So you might be like, well, there is nothing to do here. Yeah. But I think that reflects in the crime the bigger city and more amenities you have the more crime you're going to have and i think also you know port charlotte i think there's a little bit more you know range of fan you know ages of people yes. too whereas venice it's like very much retirees so and i would say port charlotte it's a lot younger too and more families as well yeah so that's just kind of the nature you know as people get to the retirement age they're a little more chill mm -hmm. employment D plus median household income 50,255. That's again household, not per person. F. And again, I wonder how accurate that is because as you know, you get we'll get to the housing prices. I'm sure that's gonna be way outdated because all the other cities we've done have been. But yeah. but I think for the most part though, it's probably very comparable to Venice or North Port South Venice, just because of the types of jobs that we have. It's like they're going to be very, very similar. And also, even though Port Charlotte, we said it's younger or a younger population, there's still retirees there. There's still snowbirds as well. So it skews the data a little bit. And and overall, I would say Venice, Northport, Port Charlotte, South Venice, they're all going to be pretty similar when it comes to that median household income. Yeah. And come to think of it too, 
Unfortunately, I, I think the housing prices being outdated is yeah. going to, you know, make a big difference on, on this data versus incomes probably didn't change a whole lot within those two years, not like housing did. Yeah. So, yeah, that F is probably close to what, you know, it actually and, is. 2.9% yeah. unemployment rate. That's a little higher than some of the other pockets we've done for sure. I know a lot of them were hovering around 2, mm -hmm. flat 2%. But again, I think that data is also out of date, so take that with a grain of salt. But they're giving it a B plus, so all the other areas we done have done have almost guaranteed gotten an A. D minus for health. Which I know Port Charlotte does have a hospital as well. I do think, yeah, Shore Point Health for Charlotte, which I think it's a private hospital, but you still have the option. And then there is also just medical facilities. And Fawcett Memorial Hospital. I'm not familiar with that one, but. It is also there, so you have another hospital, and they're listing, you know, all the fire departments and stuff too, all within your area. So pretty well staffed for that. I mean, driving through it and just getting a sense for the amount of people that live there, I feel like they have enough, but they're giving it an F, which they tend to do that for, well, as you can see, a lot of the different categories, but a lot, this category in specific for a lot of the different cities we've done, which we didn't necessarily feel like it was accurate. Yeah. Air quality, A plus, getting some of that ocean breeze. Pretty much everywhere that we've done has gotten an A or A plus, if not an A plus for everything. Housing A plus. Holy oh, God. Wow. 177,800. That is very, very outdated. I don't even think you can find a house for Can, can you imagine? And that's the median sale yeah. price. Like, so you're probably talking like a three ish bedroom place. Yeah. Wow. Three bed, two bath, maybe 1,500 square feet home. Yeah. No, that's not. Unfortunately, that's not possible anymore, but that's insane. Wow. But you can you can find nice deals in Port Charlotte, even new construction for around 350 and really nice homes, but you know, you're you might be looking into being farther away from all the things to do. Yeah. Probably closer to like 300-ish, would you say the median yeah. price is now? Yeah. And uh, one thing we I just thought of that we didn't know cuz we're thinking of some clients that we work with you know, they bought something in the Westport area and talked about, you know, they have everything here in Port Charlotte. The main drag in Northport is very similar to the Port Charlotte with lots more shopping and restaurants and things like that to do too. So I know there's like a Dick Sporting Goods, you know, most Southwest, a whole, whole bunch of stuff. So you got a lot of options between actual Port Charlotte, Puna Gorda and Northport. So just to put that in context, and then considering that home price with that, if you're willing to drive a little bit, you can get some, you know, other stuff to do that's very, very close by. Home appreciation, that's one of the higher ones, 30%, I think that we've done. I think a lot of them are like mid-20s. I think it makes sense, though, where the home price is at right now, 177 what they're considering the median makes sense. And moving on to home affordability, C+, plus, which actually, well, yeah, because they're giving that a home price to income yeah. ratio. So like, remember, the incomes are pretty low, but the home prices in Port Charlotte are probably going to be one of the more affordable in, well, let's, let's zoom in out here. Area. I yeah. think of anything. I can't really think. Puna Gorda is probably going to be more. Northport, maybe like Susie up here, you might be able to get a little cheaper. Englewood's probably going to definitely going to be more, you know, for the apples to apples type places, which you really don't have apples to apples when you start talking about all the cities over here because you're talking about having beach access yes northport would probably be the closest northport and per charlotte yeah are very comparable and northport's going to be a little bit higher than per charlotte yeah so if you're looking for a deal or you know lower price the only thing that's showing on the map here that could be more or less and you get like more house room money and land maybe would be arcadia which is covers a huge area and yeah that's but that's a lot more inland too, so you're yeah. farther away from the beach, so it would make sense that it is a little more yeah. affordable. Much less shopping, restaurants, you know, it's definitely more country, country. living. Mm -hmm. So that's something to definitely consider with that area. Schools, D plus. Mine so for school test scores. This is in Charlotte County, so pretty much all the other cities that we've done on the channel are going to be Sarasota County, except for Inglewood, which their high school is rated really well and the county is kind of split like part of inglewood is in charlotte county like a little less than half is in sarasota county but their high school is actually technically a charlotte, charlotte county, county yeah. and so their school test scores d minus as he said high school graduation rate c minus and then so i don't know c minus 83 percent i would almost blatantly ignore their elementary and high school ratings yeah just because 
We've done multiple cities now where they'll give it an A overall. They'll give it an A for the school test scores and they'll give it an A for high school graduation rates, but then look at the actual schools that are getting that done like F yeah. and it just doesn't make sense or add up. And Lemon Bay actually has really good reviews and just from, you know, hearing about people that send their children there in the area, like they're one of the better schools as well. Yeah. Um, and it's not in Sarasota County, but it's in Charlotte County, but it does, according to some locals, have, you know, a really good school system. So the ratings from actual people. Oh, for reviews. 17 surveys. Okay. Yeah. So as we've often said, people leave reviews usually when they're upset. So usually that score is going to be a little bit lower, if not a lot lower. And surveys, I feel like are, from my experience, a little more accurate. Yeah. But so the actual reviews from people, they're giving it an F. But those people were probably angry in the moment. But it's something to consider. But if you look at the actual people that did, you know, just surveys, not like, I'm mad, I'm gonna go leave a review, A plus. And I think part of it is the cost of living, probably. The, you know, it's overall a quieter area. Yeah, I would say it does feel like a city, but at the same time, the houses or the neighborhoods feel like you're out in the country but you still have like a very quick access depending on where you're located you're you know you have a quick access to 41 which is where all the shopping and restaurants and everything pretty much is yeah it's like a suburb meets country feel kind of kind of like northport yes. or like south venice but then yeah again i think with that lower cost of living and then having all of what northport has to offer not being too far to get to venice or to Inglewood and their Point beaches. Florida, Fort Myers. Florida, Florida, Fort Myers. Yeah, and Sarasota is about the same as Fort Myers. I wanna say the actual drive is shorter to Fort Myers yeah. than Sarasota, but don't quote me on that. I think it it's is. It's pretty close, I think. And yeah, so I think that's probably why it's getting that A plus. And you know, there's decent-ish job opportunities there. I mean, you're talking again, mostly service type stuff, but there is a little bit more because it is a little bit Bigger. more of a city than yeah. you know some of the other areas that we've done reviews on. With that being said, if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email our real estate team, 941-221-1897. And if you want to know more about what it's like to live in Port Charlotte, check out this playlist. we got a bunch of videos about the area. If you found the video helpful and want to learn more about this area, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and live breezy. breezy.